Yo everybody, this is Rock the Great, aka the Toy Bookie, and in today's video we are going to be showing you how to make advanced diorama doors. Now, in the past I've done basic diorama door, but there are, you know, there's so many different types of doors. In this video I wanted to show you guys, once you got the basic door down, just how to spice up your door and make it just that much better. Uh, with a little window. The window changes the whole dynamic of the diorama and it also uh, gives you more picture options like say you're into toy photography you could put a light behind the door and the light could shine through the door window and it's just a lot of cool things you can do if you're interested in more uh, in-depth review of how to do the door I have a whole tutorial on just basic doors but this one's gonna be showing you like how to add the window and how to do all the little extra things and some tips along the way. So same materials as last time. Uh, the screw is going to be for the doorknob. You need the hole punch. You need uh, some plastic. You could either use a water milk carton or you can use like a action figure plastic from the window of an action figure. Uh, this is really good for dioramas. I use this in a lot of my dioramas. Not only is it recycling, uh, it's also like a nice good material plastic. Uh, for just all different types of things that you could use in your diorama. So you'll see me using those water jug uh, things a lot. Um, right here we're going to be working on the doorknob. You just, again, make a hole punch in your plastic. You could also use cardboard, like card stock, for this part. So you just pop a hole, and this is where the screw, aka the doorknob, is going to be uh, placed inside. So when you do hot glue this to your door frame, uh, this is where, say, it looks like a doorknob right now. That's the back plate of the door. So um, by making a hole with the hole punch, it just makes putting the screw, aka the doorknob, in so much easier. And I would definitely recommend that. Or, you know, you could even just cut it out. If you don't have a, a hole punch, you could just cut it out with a, an X-Acto with just enough room that you could fit the uh, doorknob handle in there. And now to fill the doorknob, because again, you don't want that X on the screw, I just fill it with a little bit of caulk, or you could even use spackle ting, uh, you know, spackle, whatever, a little filler, wood filler could probably fill this. Anything you could fill with a little tiny um, bit of it, just fill that X in so when you paint over it, it just looks like a round doorknob and you don't see, you know, like the indents for where your screwdriver goes. Oh, hey, enjoying that free content? Hit the like button, leave a comment down below, even if you have nothing to say. The YouTube algorithm would love it, and you'd be supporting my channel so I could bring you more free content. Thanks for watching. Get back to the video. Now, the next part, I just painted it, so it, I, and it didn't show the paint because, again, I have a lot of videos on painting. But for the window, I used a hot wire foam factory um, cutter. It it's got like a, as you see here, it's, uh, this is from Hot Wire Foam Factory, and it's just like a, a rod that gets hot, and, and it's really good for making doors or windows. It cuts really clean, as you can see right here. Um, I forgot to get it on the camera, so I had to, you know, sh I'm just telling you about it now, but it's, it, it's very easy to use. Trust me on that. And now for the window, you could either use plain uh, plastic from like a action figure box or any window of a plastic thing but what I found is these little screen protectors these little screen uh, fixing things what are they you know like say you have a hole in your screen these little things uh, they are patches there you go window patches for your screen and I just stuck one of these to the piece of plastic that I would use for a normal window to get that gated window look. Like uh, if you're from, or any, I, I don't know, I only know New York, but a lot of the windows, you know, you don't want it to get broken into, so it'll have some, like a gate over it or, or, or like some mesh, something. And so this window um, screen thing just gives such a good, it's the perfect scale, I think, too, because... Um, if you use some sort of grate or other mesh material, I feel like they're very big squares. I've used that in the past, and I think this was the most realistic yet. So I was very happy with how this turned out. So uh, screen patches, I got this one at Lowe's. They're like a dollar, and they're sticky. So I just stuck this to the diorama, and then I'm going to be doing the same molding with the railings, like a 
in my basic tutorial video, I, I do this for the outside of the door. You'll see that, but um, right there, it's these are those skewer sticks, like coffee skewer sticks. They're free at like any coffee shop you go into. These were from Wawa. I just took a bunch extra, and uh, they cut very well, and they hot glue very well, and I use them for all my molding for my uh, dioramas. So um, definitely go, or you could just buy them if you're not cheap, but um, I'm just making now the molding for the window out of the same thing I made the molding of the door. So I didn't show making the molding of the door in this video, but it's the same thing and I already have a, a, a basic tutorial for doors. So I didn't want to go over the same stuff just in case people who watch that video, uh, I didn't want you to have to sit through all the same tutorials. And But I wanted you to get that advanced door. And I also wanted new people who are just seeing this video to know. So listen, I have tons of videos on the channel, guys, and I go into depth with a lot of them. This was just more for the advanced so you could see the window uh, because I did get a lot of people asking me on Instagram what I was making the window out of. So I hopefully this helps people. It's very cheap and it looks great. And I'm, I'm wondering what other th projects I could use this window with. I was very happy how it came out. So that was it guys, it was just a simple video, again a little bit of an addition to a video I have already posted, so hopefully this helped a lot of people. The window is really cool, I love it, and I think it adds a lot to your toy photography. Thanks for watching guys, this was Rocket Great, aka The Toy Book, and I'm out of here man, peace. Hey guys, it's Rocco again. I just wanted to talk to everybody really quick and let everyone know, uh, on Wednesdays when I do my live streams, if you use any of my tutorials and make a diorama or if you just want to show off your dioramas um, with you know some of the the things you've learned on my channel always hashtag toy bookie dios on my Wednesday live streams on here I usually check the hashtag and give people shout outs we look at your work and uh, the, the everyone likes it it's a fun thing we do so uh, I know a lot of you guys send me messages saying you know I used your tutorial thank you and all this stuff Use the hashtag and I will start giving you guys some, you know, some attention. You, you can get maybe some followers and stuff and it's just fun for everybody and we get to see what's, what everyone's doing with all this work, you know, in all these videos. So just wanted to jump in here. Use Toy Bookie Dios if you're doing any uh, dioramas using my tutorials and stay tuned on Wednesdays on my live streams to look and see if your work got featured. Thanks for watching. All right, now back to the outro. Do you like toy photography? Do you like tricks and tips? Then follow me over at, at the toy bookie on Instagram. Are you into art? Graphic design? Sexy Rocco? Follow me at Rocco the Great. Bye. I'm a dying. I'm just singing at the end of the video because YouTube likes 10 minute videos and if your video doesn't reach 10 minutes it thinks it's not good because it can't put ads on it so this is the video song to elongate it at the end of the video so I could reach 10 minutes in case my videos not 10 minutes this song will help it get there so this is the 10 minute song for YouTube I hope they're happy I hope they're cool dudes this is the 10 10 minute video that YouTube wants so this song it just is meant to elongate the time that someone might watch this video and even if somebody doesn't watch the video the robots over at YouTube will think it's still a 10 minute video so I'm just filling it with content so it could reach 10 minutes videos they're so fun for YouTube they want to put more ads on to my video so they could send it to more people and make more money it actually makes a lot of sense when you actually think of it but then it's making people uh, spend more and more time on their videos and then once they're reaching those 10 minute videos and say they don't have actually 10 minutes worth of stuff to talk about then it, they're just kind of faking and forcing out 
content that's longer than 10 minutes and it's not really meant to be 10 minutes long so they're just adding a lot of filler so this is kind of that song that it is meant to, with the sole purpose of being filler for YouTube if anyone's actually listening to this I, I kind of I love you bye